This is Dr. Hayek and this video is about gases. In today's video, I'm going to discuss with you the effusion and diffusion. Before we start this video, let me introduce to you the outline of this chapter where you can find six different videos. So please refer to the corresponding video for the topic of interest. Now naturally, if the concentration of a particular substance is greater in one area than in another in a container, the molecules of the gas will gradually spread out. Diffusion refers to the term when two gases are mixed. So Graham's law states that the relative rates at which two gases under identical conditions of temperature and pressure will diffuse vary inversely as the square root of the molecular masses of the gases. So this means that if we have a gas A and a gas B, at the same temperature, the distance traveled by A after diffusion divided by the distance traveled by B is equal to the root mean square velocity of A divided by the root mean square velocity of B. The root mean square velocity was defined in a previous video to be equal to the square root of 3RT over the molar mass. So replacing the root mean square velocity by its expression and rearrange this expression, we get that it's equal to the square root of the molar mass of B divided by the molar mass of A. So here again, I'm going to repeat Graham's law. So looking at this expression, we can understand Graham's law when it says that if I have two gases, that they are going to diffuse the rate of diffusion, it will vary inversely to the square root of the molar masses of the gases. Let's now discuss effusion. Effusion is the term used to describe the passage of a gas through a tiny pinhole into an evacuated chamber. Let me remind you of the expression of the root mean square velocity, which is equal to the square root of uh, 3RT over the molar mass of the gas. Now let's discuss the following practice example. Consider the following container fitted with one opening on the side. The container encloses two types of gases, argon and chlorine. The question now, how many particles of argon will escape if only three particles of chlorine escape? Now in order to determine the number of argon particles that will escape the container, we need to look up the ratio of the root mean square velocity of both gases. So the rate of effusion of argon divided by the rate of effusion of chlorine is going to be equal to the molar mass or the square root of the molar mass of chlorine divided by the molar mass of argon. Replacing the molar mass of chlorine and argon by their values, we get that this ratio is equal to 1.333, which is equal to the ratio 4 divided by 3. And this tells us, if three particles of chlorine escape, at the same time, I will have four particles of argon will escape the container as well. I hope this video was helpful to you, so please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.